This is a few minutes about principal residences, hopefully to keep you out of trouble. On October 3rd of 2016, CRA announced that from this day forward, starting with the 2016 year, if you sell your principal residence, you must put it on your tax return that you sold it. If you do not put it on your tax return that you sold it, and they come back a couple of years later to ask you why, you won't get the principal residence deduction. So this truly sucks because the principal residence deduction allows you not to pay any tax on the gain that you have from your own home. So the form, which is going to be in your tax return, comes off of the Schedule 3, and what you must say is what year you bought the house and how much you sold it for in, let's say, the 2016 year. There are a couple of tick boxes. Was this your principal residence at all times that you owned it? If so, there's a tick mark there, and if that's the case, you're done. The time that you owned this home was a principal residence the whole time. You don't have to pay tax on it, but you do have to report it. If you've got a more complicated situation, you had another property at some time while you owned this principal residence form, then you need to do more paperwork. There's a designation form. It's a T2091, and you've got to fill it in if at any time that you owned the home you're selling, you also owned another home. So that's what I've got to say about this. Pay attention to the tax return for any year in which you're selling your principal residence from now on. <laughs>